wanna run away Why you gotta be afraid? I wish I could make you stay Cause baby, I love you Why you tryna break us? Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I created this makeup look right here. I'm obsessed. It is so pretty. It is such a moment. It's that beautiful graphic liner with the shimmer on the lid. It's such a minimal look, but like it makes a statement. Do you get me? It is so gorgeous. I feel like this is definitely giving like New Year's vibes. I know we're so far from New Year's, but I feel like this is such a pretty look. Like this is the type of look that I would wear for my birthday, for prom. Like this is such a gorgeous look I love the shimmer on the lid and you can always do any color shimmer you want so I'm very excited for today's video before we get into the details I wanted to talk a little bit about dossier you guys know we love dossier on this channel they are basically a fragrance company that creates fragrances based off of your favorite high-end fragrances at a fraction of the price so I am working with them on today's video I am very excited to be doing so because you guys know I love dossier I love fragrance and the fact that I don't have to spend all that extra money on packaging and I can still get the same exact scent and it still lasts all day, I'm so here for it. When you actually receive your fragrance in the mail, it comes in a box like this. Super cute, very simple, and very to the point. When you open it up, this is what it looks like. You do get a little information card inside of your box. So this is your little information card. It tells you everything that you need to know. So definitely keep this handy. It says the name of the fragrance that you picked. It also tells you what fragrance it's inspired by. There's also the return policy on here, which let's talk about that for a second. So if you are unhappy with your fragrance, you can open it up, test it out for a few days. If you're unhappy and you do not like the scent, you can return it for a full refund. Girl, there are no questions asked, which I feel is absolutely amazing, especially because I completely understand that you're a little bit blindsided because if you're ordering a fragrance that's inspired by, let's say, one of your favorite fragrances, then you kind of know or you know what to expect when you receive it. And if you feel that it is not like your original one, you can always return it so this is basically risk free so i highly recommend it i did pick two scents this month citrus peony and it is inspired by miss dior's blooming bouquet that is my favorite fragrance of all time it is so elegant it's sweet but not too sweet so i have not yet actually smelled the fragrance i wanted to smell it on camera because like i said it's my favorite perfume so i'm very very familiar with the smell this is what the bottle looks like when you receive it in the mail it's a very simple to the point bottle let's smell this i'm very excited for this oh you guys identical like i'm telling you you will not be able to smell the difference the next scent that i picked for this month is Woody Sage, which is actually inspired by Joe Malone's Wood Sage and Sea Salt Cologne. So I'm very excited for this as well. I'm going to save this one for Kiki, but I definitely recommend that you guys check out Dossier if you have not already. I do have a custom link that I will leave down below in the description box so you guys can check them out. So thank you so much to Dossier for working with me on today's video. So for today's look, I'm very, very excited. I have something very excited to share with you guys. I am finally a part of the ColourPop PR list. What? You guys, when I tell you, I literally screamed when I got the email asking if I wanted to be a part of their PR list. I literally dropped everything I was doing to just have that moment because if you know me, you know I have been dying to be on their PR list. It's ColourPop and Anastasia Beverly Hills. I have always wanted to be on that PR list and it's probably one of the hardest to get on. So also maybe Morphe. I feel like I would love to be on Morphe's PR too, but if you guys don't know what a PR list, it's basically where influencers are put on a list and you're basically given new products that they release for free with, of course, an expectation of you posting content with it, sharing it with your followers, sharing your positive feedback, and so on and so forth. So I am very excited to announce that I am a part of the ColourPop PR list. They sent over my first package full of goodies and so today's video is not only super glam and super fun but it is using all affordable makeup well mostly affordable makeup besides my eyeliner my mascara and the eyeliner i use in my waterline but everything else is affordable i am very excited so i'm gonna stop yapping because i'm gonna be yapping in today's video for the voiceover so we're gonna go ahead and jump into it before we do please don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you guys have not already. And of course, without further ado, if you'd like to see how I created this really beautiful, it's giving prom, it's giving a birthday, it's giving everything. 
I got stuck there. I didn't know what I wanted to say. So listen, it's just a bomb look. So let's get into it. You guys, let's get into this look. Look at this box. I was so excited. First and foremost, I just want to say thank you so much to all of you guys that support me, especially on Instagram. You guys are always sharing my work, liking my photos, commenting on my photos. It's because of you that I got this amazing opportunity to be a part of ColourPop's PR list. So thank you so, so much. I'm so thankful and so grateful. And I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. So enough mushy mushy let's get into the look so you guys saw I'm using the color pop this is called the set in stone palette it is so gorgeous and I first went into that more caramel light nude shade just to put it in the crease as a transition and then I'm going into this darker brown just to give a little bit of depth but not too much this look is very very simple when it comes to the eyeshadow so what I'm gonna do now is we always want to work smarter not harder so I'm taking a nude pencil and I'm basically just gonna trace out exactly where I'm gonna apply that black liner. So this number one is gonna help you so you don't make as many mistakes. And also it gives you the opportunity to have a really free hand and not be so nervous. I know there's people out there like me that when you deal with black eyeliner, especially trying to do graphic liner, like your hand just instantly gets shaky. I don't know what it is, but it's very, very nerve wracking. So this just helps to kind of ease that tension a little bit so for eyeliner I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid liner in black like I said this was one of the products in today's look that was just like non-negotiable and it's more on the high-end side it is ABH now this liner is amazing you guys can see I'm like barely grazing the skin at first and that's because I'm just trying to get that shape and then I'll worry about really perfecting it and I kind of learned that when it comes to this graphic liner world that I'm now trying to get into it's really important that you kind of sketch out your lines first and then perfect them after rather than trying to perfect them immediately so you guys can see now I'm starting to create that kind of thickness and really just make it more bold and the thickness really just depends on you it's you know how bold you want your eyeliner to be I will say this does take time I will say that this liner took about 25 almost 30 minutes to do and you guys know I'm a perfectionist but you guys it's always worth the time I promise you so for that little shape on the wing I did go ahead and add a little dot and then I dragged a line going up in a diagonal position and then a line going down in also a diagonal position basically just creating a V shape and this right here is definitely a look in itself but I want it more of a rounded edge with a pointed V tip I guess you would call it it's really hard to describe um, but you guys can kind of see what I'm doing I could have even done another V right in front of that one and that would have been epic like a full shaped out liner graphic moment um, if you make any mistakes like I did just take your concealer brush and just kind of wiggle it against that black and it'll take it right off and it'll cover it um, but that is the eyes I decided to add a little bit of shimmer so I'm actually taking this shimmer from the ColourPop palette it's really beautiful I will say though it is very very subtle if you're looking for a subtle shimmer this one is perfect but I did want something a little bit more sparkly on the lid because I wanted to have its moment so I'm actually going in with this more cosmetics diamond days liquid eyeshadow in the shade eye contact these are phenomenal if you guys are into liquid eyeshadows you definitely need to try these if you're even familiar with the stila ones these are basically the same thing but half the price or a little less than half the price these are a bomb so I went ahead and just added that on the lid and you guys can see it just took that sparkle to the next level I am obsessed this look is so beautiful it is definitely tedious but if you take your time I promise you the outcome is worth it so for lashes I went in with the lava lashes in the style faux sweetheart I did go ahead and apply those off camera so let's get into complexion I'm going in with the Milani super charge primer I haven't used this in a hot minute but like I said I was trying to keep this as affordable as possible this primer is phenomenal and also it smells amazing it's gonna give you that really nice hydrated skin Skin. for foundation I'm going in with the ColourPop pretty fresh foundation this one is in the shade medium 80 W you guys I haven't used this in a while I had tried it previous to this video but it's been so long sorry about the noise of the car if you guys can hear that but it is a really beautiful foundation the only thing that I will say is this is more of a light 
to medium coverage and medium I'm saying that very 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 sparingly because I did have to build it up I did do about two layers two full layers and then kind of spot concealed in certain areas um, because it is definitely a lighter coverage but nonetheless it's really really beautiful as far as cream bronzer I did want to go in with an oldie but goodie this is from soul body you can't purchase soul body on ColourPop's website this is their face and body bronzing balm in the shade medium I forgot how much I love this product it is so good it's affordable and you get so much product so I just went ahead and bronzed my skin with that as far as concealer I'm gonna be using the ColourPop pretty fresh concealer in the shade light 45w this concealer is bomb you guys it had a really great coverage the concealer actually has more coverage than the foundation in my opinion it is just beautiful the combo together is phenomenal because I feel like because the foundation is more lightweight the concealer kind of compensates for the coverage that the foundation doesn't have does that make sense like if you apply this foundation and then apply this concealer it's almost giving you the coverage that the foundation is lacking I was obsessed the combo together is phenomenal I definitely recommend that if you're gonna try out the foundation that you also purchase the concealer because the two are literally a match made in heaven so this is my reaction I'm like whoa like I was a little shook it so moving on to powder I'm gonna be using the elf halo glow setting powder not only is this an amazing affordable setting powder it is also talc free yes to elf look at them paving the way for some talc free makeup so they are talc free as far as this powder not the whole entire brand and it's really beautiful like it really makes me think what is the major difference between talc and non-talc because this still looks so smooth I loved it. I've been using it actually quite a bit since filming this video. Moving on to setting the rest of my face, I'm going to be using the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Powder in Medium 11. This was the first time I was trying out this powder and why didn't anyone tell me how amazing this powder is? It is so beautiful and again, this is another product that it's giving me extra coverage on top of that foundation which I was not mad at. It was so beautiful. Like I'm going to be using it so much more so get ready to see it on my channel. For bronzer, I decided to to use this color pop coconut bronzer I think this was like limited edition so you can't get it anymore but if you can as always everything's gonna be down below linked in the description box but it was bomb I really like that bronzer I've used it a few times and I haven't used it in a while but it's beautiful I have no complaints and you guys know we don't do nothing with nose contour and we just dust a little bronzer on the nose and keep it pushing so this is the bronzer I'm gonna be using this color pop super shock cheek this one is in the shade Doozy, so beautiful. Formula was bomb. It did not disrupt my foundation whatsoever and you guys saw for yourselves. I did already set my entire face with powder and this did not make anything move. It was so, so pretty. I highly recommend it and they're super affordable. However, I did wanna set it with a little bit of powder so I went in with this ColourPop blush. This was a part of a collection. If, like I said, it's on the website, I will link it, but it's just a beautiful, peachy shade just something that wasn't going to change the color of the cream too much so moving back into the eye makeup i did of course with this look want to do a little inner corner flick but i can never get it on camera so my apologies but i did do that and then for my waterline i'm going in with the Too faced killer liner in the shade killer cashmere if you wanted affordable alternative the rimmel london scandal eyes eyeliner in nude is phenomenal i'll link it down below then i went ahead and added some bottom lash mascara and then for lips i'm going in with the ColourPop bff3 lip liner this lip liner is beautiful it's a deep nude just like i like them and it was very blendable and the color was perfection and then for lipstick i went in with the nyx lipstick in the shade a la mode super beautiful nude it's amazing and then for highlight i went in with this revlon skin lights highlighter it was pretty nothing out of this world um but like i said we were keeping it affordable so that basically completed the look i actually forgot to set my face for this makeup look so i did not do any setting spray but this is the look i really hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so much for watching make sure you guys don't forget to check out Dossier. yay i love you guys so much i hope you have a phenomenal weekend and i'll see you in the next video bye guys